Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech. And today in our talk about growth regulation of perennials, we're going to be talking about comparing pinching to the branching agents. So I'd like to thank Fine Americas for supporting this blog and for eGrow for hosting this blog. So we're going to talk a little bit about pinching for increasing branching and for height control of plants. Now there's some pros and cons. The pros, of course, is that removing that apical bud can release apical dominance so those lower branches can go ahead and grow out. So we may get an increase in branching and we may get some control of plant height. And the negatives are that pinching is very labor intensive and it can delay growth and flowering. So when we compare pinching to um, plant growth regulators or branching agents, we did two studies and one we compared pinching to collate and that was a spring study and then that uh, summer we compared pinching to configure. Both the pinching and the branching agents were applied in the liner stage and our pinch was a soft pinch of the liners. We only removed the meristem, not a hard pinch. So let's look at some results. This is Phlox Starfire, and this is two weeks after treatment in the liner stage. Although you see some variability here, we did not have any significant growth regulation height control with either the collate sprays or the pinching. However, the pinched plants did have more lateral branches than our control or than the ones treated with collate. However, if we look at the finished plants at eight weeks after treatment, we still had some height control with the pinching, and we had two liters from that pinch, but we did not have any difference in the total number of lateral branches on the plants that were pinched versus the ones that were not treated with anything or the ones treated with a collate spray. However, we did have a delay in flowering of about eight days with the pinching and also with that 500 parts per million collate. Looking at Veronica First Love, again at two weeks after treatment, we did have a significant improvement in branching with our pinch treatment. No difference in height or width, but we did have a significant increase in the branching of the liners. And in this study, we actually had a little bit of an oddity. With our control plants, they didn't seem to grow out quite as well as they should have. And so essentially, we have an an improvement in branching with both our collate treatments and with our pinching. In addition, all of these treated plants flowered two weeks earlier than our control plants. However, when we did this study with a configure comparison in the summer, that same summer, we did not see any significant difference between the treated plants and the pinched plants. And we had a delay in flowering of about eight days. With Salvia aurea, again in the summer study comparing to configure and collate, we found that pinching reduced the height, the root and shoot dry weights, and the number of leaders or the number of branches of our finished plants. And with Heliopsis in our summer study, we also found that pinching had no effect on plant height or branching. However, configure increased branching significantly but both the pinching and the configure delayed flowering over two weeks. So let me just summarize our plant responses to pinching. And this is the finished plants, not the liners, which I showed you some of both. And we have the two studies here. Number one is the spring study, two is the summer study. And you can see that with Heliopsis, for example, no effect on branching in either study. Both studies, we have a significant delay in flowering. In the, heal, the first Heliopsis study, we did have some in increase in height as opposed to no effect on height in our second study. With Phlox Starfire, we had no effect on branching in either study. No increase, no decrease relative to the controls, not to the other treatments. Again, we had a significant delay in flowering and we had height reduction in our first study, moderate height reduction, about 20% and then no effect on plant height in our second study. With salvia, we had no effect on branching or plant height in our first study. However, in the summer study, we did have a reduction in branching as well as reduction in plant height. With Veronica First Love, 
in our uh, first study, and this was the spring study where I told you the controls didn't grow very well. We had an increase in branching, we had more rapid flowering, and no effect on height. However, in the summer study, we had no effect on branching, a delay in flowering, and some reduction in plant height. In summary, pinching generally delays flowering, but so do the branching agents. Pinching sometimes increases branching of our finished plants. We didn't see that very often in these studies. But what I am interested in what would happen if we tried these together. There are some growth habits in our perennials that simply don't respond very well to the branching agents or to pinching, at least not pinching a single time. What if we were to try those together? So look for some additional research coming out, hopefully soon, looking at some of these combinations. And again, thanks to Fine Americas for sponsoring this video and for eGrow for hosting it. Have a great day.